Hello and welcome to today's Mililani Minute. Today we're wrapping up uh, this week's look at God as light. Uh, there are so many more passages that we could look at about this idea, uh, but we looked at Christ coming into the world as the light of the world and us taking that light and what it means to our brothers and sisters and having light versus darkness. But today we're looking at the consummation of that light. We are looking at the fulfillment of this light uh, and we're looking at the very end of scripture. We're looking at the last two chapters. So we're going to be looking at Revelation uh, chapter 21 verses 22 through 25 and then chapter 22 verse 5 and I'm going to read those uh, all together. Starting in verse 22, it says, And I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon or shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light. And its lamp is the Lamb. By its light will the nations walk, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. And its gate will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. And then 22 verse 5, And night will be no more. They will need no light of the lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Amen. Uh, these passages are extraordinarily important. Uh, one thing it, that it helps us see is that the lights, the natural lights that we have are temporary. They're fallen as well. They're just that. They're temporary. During the day, they're there, and at night, it's much dimmer. Uh, and it's part of God's created order, but it was tainted in the fall just the same. Everything that we have is temporary. The sun can be blotted out by clouds. The sun can have an eclipse. There are moments in time where we don't have that light. There are nights where there is almost complete darkness. And even by the light of the moon, it can be difficult to see at night in some places. But God's fulfillment in the new heaven and new earth is that there is no need for light. Because He is the light. He is the ultimate light. He shines brighter than anything else. And at the end of time, at the beginning of that eternal worship of our uh, of our Lord God and Creator. We will have Him as the light. We will be able to worship in that city that there is no need for a temple because everything is the temple. And He is the lamp. He is the sun. He is the source of all light. There will be no darkness. There will be no fall. There will be no taintedness of sin. There will be no fallen nature that keeps us in that darkness. All believers at that time will be shown in His glory. In His glory will we live uh, and have that light eternally. In our glorified state at that time, we will live in that. And that's a gift not because of how good we are, but because we were called by Him and we remain faithful in Him. We ran the good uh, race. We fought the good fight. We sustained, not because of us, but because of who God is. And through His glory, we will exist in this place. We will live in this eternal heaven with His eternal light shining on us. We will have this amazing gift. So as we end this, this week of looking at light, we remember that that is the promise that we're looking toward. That after Christ return, in whatever way that's going to look at, that the end is us worshiping Him forever in that city with Him as the eternal source of light forever and ever. Amen. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you that you have called us into this place. We thank you that you have given us this ability to do these studies. And I just ask today that your light shines, that we see who you are, that, that we see your ultimate light. And I just pray today that you help us to live a life that is looking forward to that light, that as we look toward who you are and the fulfillment of this light that we will have in your eternal heaven, in your new city, free of brokenness, free of sin, free from darkness but it will be best in your eternal light. We pray all these things in your heavenly name. Amen. Thank you.